Welcome back to Hartford Hawks basketball with Jen Rosati. Time now for our Manchester Honda player profile, and we have saved Mary Lynn Schaefer for last for a reason, <laughs> because I, I get the sense that you, you know you think highly of all your players. I understand that, but there's a different kind of bond with Mary Lynn, who committed to Hartford and was a part of this program right from the very beginning and has always been an extension of you, it seems, on the floor. Yeah, she's just been somebody we've been able to rely on so much for four years, on and off the court as a student, as a role model, as a leader. Uh, she's done so much for the program. She's given every ounce of everything she's had to the Hartford program. And, you know, when you recruit kids, that's what you want, but you don't expect it from everyone. And Marilyn has been true and true a Hartford Hawk. And I can't, you know, I can't, we couldn't have gotten more out of that kid. She's been a uh, true ambassador to the program, and we're really going to miss her. What do you see for her future? Do you see her perhaps as a future coach? Yeah, I, I, I know that, you know, she, she may have some aspirations of going overseas and playing a little bit more, but she should be in the coach coaching profession. I mean, the kid has a head for the game. Um, you know, she's been successful in her career because of hard work and basketball IQ and dedication and not necessarily only basketball skill and talent. And I think those are the type of people that make good coaches when they can bring the intangibles every day to the floor. And um, with her, you know, knowledge for the game and her desire to study the game, nobody watches more basketball. She watches probably as much as I do. Um, she's definitely meant to be in the coaching profession. Out of Mathis, Schaefer trying a three. Got it. Let's begin with the end. <laughs> it's coming quickly, yes. and it must feel like it's been a blur. It's definitely gone by fast. Uh, I feel like in some ways I've been here forever since I started coming up here my junior year. But these four years here, they've definitely gone by fast. I mean, they've been memorable the entire time every year, but I don't want it to end. <laughs> <laughs> Your expectations when you came here from high school were what? To win championships. Um, you know, my senior year in high school, they won in 2005. I was here for the tournament watching it, and it just made me want to get here even faster. You know, I didn't even want to go back to school. I just wanted to come here. I wanted to get everything going. And then when we won my freshman year, it was, it was exciting. You know, it's, it's something you look forward to. And then when it happens, it's kind of, you don't have any words for it because you're just so excited because it actually happened. And then when we won in the first round against the, in the NCAA tournament against Temple, I mean, that's something I'll never forget because it was just, it was mind blowing. Was the win last year in the NCAA tournament even a notch above that Temple win because you played such a key role? Um, I think, I think it might have shown my growth from my freshman year to my junior year. Schaefer for three. When we beat them, it was just, it was exciting, you know, the, the closeness, the battle between both teams, and then us being able to pull out a win was just, it was great. How about what's left this season? Obviously, as a senior, you've experienced a ton as an underclassman, but as a senior, it's different. You need to go out on top, right? Yeah, I mean, that's what every senior wants, you know. Everyone in this league that's a senior wants to go out on top, and they're going to bring it every single game the rest of the season, you know. And um, for us, like our senior class, like we know what it takes. Like we know what it takes to win a championship, and we're not going to settle for anything less. You know, it is our senior year, but we want it to be a victorious one. We want to get better from where we were in November and January. Like each month, we want to be better than we were before, and that's that'll show the growth of our team and the growth of our program. Like if we can continue to get better, then teams after us will carry that on. On the, on that play right there, should be Amora. On three out of bounds. We see you a lot of times with Jen. Yeah, you you spend a lot of time. You're kind of like that coach hey. on the floor, but have you yeah. really tried to be a sponge to soak up as much hey, as you what, can in your four years? Oh yeah, I mean, what better person to do it from than Coach Riz? Um, she's just, she knows so much about the game and just being able to learn from her over these four years has been great. Player Profile is brought to you by Manchester Honda, plain and simple. Coming up, Jen takes you on the court for part two of her two-man game tip. And top scholar Alicia Mathis is just a freshman, but she's feeling right at home on the court and in the classroom. It wasn't really hard for me at all. Uh, I studied, did what I had to do, and got the grades that I wanted. 